The New South Welshmen and Queenslanders pushed relentlessly down the narrow coastal strip towards their prize. Their assault held enemy units from their emplacements. Behind them, the 2nd 12th Field Regiment pounded the base. Well, here's my first cool find. It's a silver ring. It's actually 925 engraved. Oh, it's Hallmark 925. Um, looks to be very old, actually. I don't know if it's World War II, but it's uh, definitely sterling silver. It's Hallmark. Nice one. Well, here's my first coin of the day. It's a uh, threepence. It's quite deep, about seven inches. It was in the water. Well, the water um, came up into the hole. Anyway, it's about a metre off the shoreline. Uh, World War II, obviously. I think it's a 43, I think. Could be wrong. Anyway, yeah, that's nice. A little bit of silver. Good one. Sorry about the wind noise. I'm on the water's edge, so I'm going to cop wind all day. Just got my second silver, but uh, a foot from the first one. Another little silver threepence. Beauty. That was a 7980 on the AT Pro. Where's my next one? It's a ripper too. It's a dog tag, and it's it's marked. Uh, New South Wales serviceman, Roman Catholic. I think it says Gilbert R. Ah. So, uh, as always, we'll make every endeavour to return that to the serviceman's family. Hopefully the uh, digger himself is still alive in his 90s. Well, I've just snagged the complete set. Here's the uh, hexagonal. Other half of uh, private or whatever rank he is. We'll, I'll put that on the subtitle. Uh, Gilbert, New South Welshman. Dropped his entire dog tag set here. Here's my next target. It's the end uh, of uh, webbing. Bit of brass end strapping. Well, it's got my third silver coin for today. It's another threepence. These are getting left behind by other detectorists, I guess. Uh, the older machines wouldn't have found these coins in these conditions, probably. Way back in the day. I think it's a 43. Sterling silver. Okay, we're still doing the lake edge, and I've just found a little two silver spill. I uh, scraped the rocks, and basically these were surface finds. There's one threepence there, and then one there. They're obviously on top of each other, and I've just shifted them. So, uh, We'll pull these up and have a look at the dates. Well, I've moved back into the bush now. We're all in here now. Uh, personally, I much prefer the bush than the lakeside. It's better for videoing and uh, it's a better environment. Um, this target is an absolute ripper. It was a dead set nine inches down, plus the leaf litter. It was a solid 9091. And have a look what came out of the ground. Absolutely glorious. Rising sun hat badge. Two lugs, fantastic condition. Look at that. That is an absolute ripper. You beauty. Okay, I'll give it a clean and we'll have a close look at it. Well, actually, isn't it a sunlight, an absolute perler. That bayonet tip is bent. Other than that, outstanding condition. Two lugs, and you can see that end's a bit bent too. That wasn't me, that's how you know, it would uh, unearth it, but. That's in really great nick. I'm really happy with that. Was a really uh, soft signal. It was it was a soft signal at depth. The proportional audio was just a whisper. I was getting the target ID, so it wasn't out of the detection range. Um, the target ID detection range. It started as an 86, 87. As I got closer, it went to about 90, which is a high figure from the rising sun. But anyway. Okay, Collins on the AT Gold. She's got a. 9091 target ID yep. at six inches. Now, as you can see, we've not disturbed anything. Contending with a lot of leaf litter, and we've got this old log here. Let me get out of the way. And uh, hopefully, you'll see a good target come out live here. That's a good target ID, very high. Um, not likely to be a aluminium can in here because, uh, okay, that's not a so uh, shallow surface target that's good yeah there's no modern rubbish in here so it hasn't been used for any other purpose since the diggers left in 45 um, so we don't find much even iron rubbish actually 
with the only things you class as rubbish is the ammunition. The three has three holes, and they're everywhere. Oh. Over this side? Yep. Well, it seems to be a compact target. I don't think it's like a large piece of alloy. Hopefully it's not a piece of copper, copper pipe or something, which is possible. It'll be good metal, whatever it is. I'll try that pro point and just see if you can isolate it. Looks to be on the right hand side, eh? Yeah, well, this is good, it's still deep. Hmm. Might need your pick. Yeah, you might have to open your hole up. <laughs> this area of the site, the targets are deep. Um, it's a bit of a slope, and I guess there's been topsoil running down the slope on top of the relics for 75 years plus. Ah, uh, that's why it's a big signal with the drum bung. Never mind. Nice this is World War II anyway. Okay, so this is um, my next find. It's a, um, I'm really not quite sure what it is. But it looks like a badge. Because it's got two lugs on the back here. Like that. Might have to clean it up to see if we can see if anything's written on it but um, I'm not sure if it's an artillery badge or, or what it is actually but um, yeah just in this little hole here not far down and it was about um, 58 60 signal so we'll see what that is anyway we'll clean it up okay Here's my next find, it was a 76, and it's a lovely old harmonica reed. We've not found one with a curved sort of mouthpiece on it like that before. Might have a brand name on it. 